Hi, this is Tony and welcome back. Today we're talking about loops. First thing I want to mention is loops and exit devices such as, ex as exit wands are very different. Loop detects the presence of metal. The exit wands or exit devices uh, detect the movement of metal. That's why they're good for exit and they're not good for safety because as soon as the metal stops moving, they disappear from the exit devices and the exit wands. They do not disappear from either loop. And the loops are, uh, are designed for certain sizes, so you cut the size for it. You can make any of our loops four foot shorter. So let's say you have a six by 12 loop, but your installation is really calling for a six by 10. Well, that's four foot shorter. So you can use the six by 12 loop into a six by 10 driveway and cut it for that. So you cut a 3 16 inch slot. This loop goes down into that slot and it is sealed with loop sealant so it doesn't move. It's really important that loops never move because if they move because of vibration um, in a space that's created where they're installed, it will send off a false signal. Uh, a loop in general creates a zone with uh, just a very, very weak magnetic field. When uh, there's a car or something metal above it, that field changes. And a loop detector um, acclimates itself to the normal condition, meaning no car above it. Uh, and then when there is a car above it, it changes uh, how it perceives that area and it sends a signal to the gate opener to uh, either as a safety, don't move the gate, or as an exit device, okay, it's time to move the gate. This is a saw cut loop. So if you have a cement driveway or something that you can saw into, you put this loop in there, they come, to a, come uh, in different sizes. This is the loop, this is the lead-in. So the lead-in uh, is from the loop to the control box of the gate opener and it wires into a loop detector. This is a direct burial. Uh, I think you probably can figure that out. You just lay it out on the, on the dirt, you cover it with dirt, and then asphalt or whatever you want. Uh, if you're putting it underneath a gravel driveway, you're gonna have to dig down pretty significantly, seven or eight inches. And then beyond that, you're gonna dig just a trench where you want the loop. You're gonna put soft sand in, and you're gonna uh, tamp it or, or vibrate it down before the gravel goes on top of it. Again, this is the loop and it goes into the lead-in, the lead-in goes back to the gate opener, and otherwise it works just the same. So hopefully uh, this has uh, cleared up any information you may need about loops. Any other questions, please give us a call. We have tech support from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., seven days a week.